appear on this show. In fact, it was my childhood ambition. I'll give you some idea how long the show's been going, hasn't it? <laughs> Hello, I see he's here again. Big pardon? He's here again, isn't he? Who? That bloke repairing the organ over there. <laughs> Big pardon? He been hammering away at that damn thing for 26 years. He hasn't got the, <laughs> got the thing working yet. I don't think he can get the lid off, you know. If you're referring to Mr. Leonard Sachs, he does <coughs> not play the organ. No. No, or repair it. He is, in point of fact, our master of ceremonies. And the object to which you allude is not an organ, but the podium. Is it? Yes. yes. And he was uh, banging his gavel. Just look at this lovely audience. Isn't it wonderful to see so many of our brave soldiers and sailors back safely with us again? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. That. My dad fought with the army, you know. Did he? Yeah, but he still had to join, as you show. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry to interrupt this, but you may not be aware of this, but we are supposed to be performing a ventriloquial act. Is that legal? <laughs> Don't you know what ventriloquism is? It's not anything to do with repairing organs, is it? No. Ventriloquism is a matter of controlling the respiratory oscillations of the abdominal muscular reflexes together with the measured reverberations emanating from the solar plexus. That's not. And here the hell's working you. It's not an act, that's a disease, isn't it? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Repeat it. That's not an act. No, the, the long words. Long words? Hmm. Every word. Every word. Every if and all but. Every if and all but. You strangle yourself, don't blame me, will you? Then could it... Then Why do you call me take out juggling or something like that? <laughs> Ventriloquism. Ventriloquism is an act of controlling the respiratory oscillations of the abdominal muscular reflexes together with the negative reverberations emanating from the solar plexus. And in formulating your esoteric cogitations, articulating your superficial sentimentalities, I say that you are talking without moving your cake hole. <laughs> to finish, ladies and gentlemen, with a monologue dedicated to this wonderful show. There are dozens and dozens of theatres, but none of them really compare. They don't have these masses of lads with their lasses, or the wonderful costumes they wear. But the thing that really excites me are the artists who've been here before. There's Costa Gus Elan and dear Albert Whelan. And George Roby has took an encore. It's hard to avoid the great Mari Lloyd. And I haven't forgot little Titch. That's why I brought Shorty. I know he's been naughty. Say goodnight, you silly old bitch. <laughs>